Hello friends, today we are going to talk about HDFS blocks. Let's get started with how the data is stored in HDFS. Computer disk where data is stored is divided into blocks. Block is the smallest unit of data that can be stored or retrieved from the disk. HDFS manages the stored data with blocks similar to other distributive file systems. By default, the block size in HDFS is 128 MB. But the block size can be changed by system administrator. There are number of ways to import files and data into HDFS. But all the files in HDFS internally split into one or more blocks. After the data has been split into blocks, these blocks are stored in a set of data nodes. By default, the replication factor is set to three data nodes per block but it can also be changed by system administrator. Let's move forward and discuss the benefits of block structured file system in HDFS. And these are number of blocks on a disk. In HDFS cluster, the blocks are fixed in size. So it is very easy to calculate the number of blocks that can be stored on a disk. This means we can determine the overall capacity of each node as well as the capacity of entire cluster. Name node maintain metadata. In HDFS, the data is stored in data nodes in the form of data blocks. The data node does not need to concern about the blocks metadata like file permission, file size, name, location, and mapping of files to block IDs, etc. As name node maintains the metadata of all blocks. The entire file system metadata, including the mapping of blocks to the file, is stored in a file called FS image. The name node keeps FS image in its memory. No wastage of disk space. As we know, the files stored in HDFS are divided into blocks and these blocks are copied to multiple data nodes. If the size of file is less than the HDFS block size, which is 128 MB by default, then the file does not occupy the complete block storage. For example, a 1 MB file is stored with a block size of 128 MB uses 1 MB of disk space, not 128 MB. Store very large sized file. HDFS store large sized file very nicely by implementing block structured file system. A file larger than a single disk size can be made up of several blocks which are distributed and stored randomly on different data nodes in the cluster. And by this way it is easy to store a file far larger than a single machine disk space. Fault tolerance and availability. HDFS does not expect reliable disks to store the data. So to store data reliably and to cope up with the malfunctioning or loss of individual machines in the cluster, HDFS uses data replication. In data replication, blocks are replicated between the data nodes. Hence the failure of the node that contains single copy of block is a minor issue and thus provide fault tolerance and high availability. Hadoop framework replicates each block across multiple nodes. Default replication factor is 3. In case of any node failure or block corruption, the replica of same block can be read from another node. For example, file B is replicated to three data nodes. If one data node goes down, the client application can read file from other two data nodes. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next video tutorial.